Hey guys, welcome to Your Adventure Compass, and we are in Branson, Missouri for our Branson road trip. We are going to check out all the fun stuff there is to do here in this awesome town. Come along with us for this very, very awesome adventure. Hey guys, welcome to Your Adventure Compass. Today, we're at the Branson Coaster. It is a mountain coaster. First time doing a mountain coaster for me. I've always wanted to do these. We were in Pigeon Forge in Gallenberg several years back, never got to try it. And I'm finally getting to do it here in Branson. So we're gonna go ride the coaster and then uh, my daughter's gonna do a little gem mining. So come along with us for this awesome adventure. All right guys, here it is. The Branson Coaster established in 2017. It doesn't look like the line's too bad. We did uh, end up getting some tickets on Groupon. And uh, I think it was $17, and I also get a digital image from this as well. So let's go ride a coaster. All right, guys, we're in line. We've got our uh, tickets and waivers, everything's all set. Kind of excited about this. All right, guys, we're on. I have to take my hat off. Uh, they don't let you wear a hat. <laughs> they don't let you wear a hat on the uh, mountain coaster here, so apologize for the messy hair. But uh, you're not gonna see too much of that anyway, because you're gonna do a little bit of forward facing, a little bit of backward facing. You can see me a little bit, but uh, we're getting ready. We're probably about six people ahead of us, so I'm excited. All right, here we are in the lineup. All ready to go, kind of excited about this. Just gonna give us some instructions when we get up a little bit closer, and uh, we'll find out what we gotta do. All right. If you do get closer, just slow down, don't hump it. Perfect, thank you. All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> this is kind of cool. It is pretty fast. It's kind of smooth so far. I have heard these can be a little bit, a little bit crazy. All right, here we go. Going around one bend right here. Now I hear that there is you're gonna take my photo coming up here soon and I wanted to put some light on myself so the photo turns out good. Whoa! <laughs> this is awesome. Really, really fun. Woo! <laughs> it's pretty bass too. Whoa! Give up, baby. <laughs> well, it says slow down or remain seated. Uh, looks like we're going up the next lift hill now. So I'm gonna flip the uh, I'm gonna flip this around so you guys can get a good view of what we're doing. All right, guys, here we go, going up the hill. our second upwards hill. And it looks like we're going up some more. This is interesting. It's like a cable lift. I've never, uh, never been on one of these, so I didn't know that. And it uh, looks like the other side of the cable is actually off to my left there. Looks like we're getting towards the top of this lift hill. Getting pretty close here. And then I think we're gonna go down uh, at least one more time. I don't know how many times we're gonna go back down. We'll see. But uh, Press your here we go. And I dare you. Oh yeah, this is fun. Look at this guys. Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Whoa! 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 This is a blast! Whoa! 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 Wow, we are really flying, guys. This is awesome! Woo! Wow, that was awesome. Oh. 
Looks like we're getting on to the next lift hill. I don't know if this is it or if uh, we've got more. We'll find out in a second. Flip this around. Well, guys, this has been a blast so far. I mean, I would put this right up there with a regular roller coaster. It's a lot of fun. I can see why people like this. Uh, very fast. You get to control your speed and do what you kind of want to do. So very, very cool. Very cool. I, I have a feeling I have a feeling this might be it because it looks like this is the hill that takes us back up to the top. And that might be all she writes. I don't know. Either way, I really enjoyed it. I can uh, I could see myself getting a season pass if I lived nearby to uh, to ride this often. I gotta say, uh, mountain coasters, a lot of fun. I kind of want to do the other one in town now. I don't have time, but I kind of want to. So here we are heading up. Yeah, I think this is going to be it because I see the uh, see the parking lot up there so I think we're gonna get up to the top and uh, this is gonna be all there is to it but well you know it was a lot of fun we'll see you in a minute nope I think that's it we're going right back up to the top here and I think that's gonna be all well darn that was fun guys I, uh, I definitely enjoyed this if you guys get a chance to do this, you got to try it. It's a lot of fun. It really is. It really definitely is a lot of fun. Um, my daughter's going to do the gem mining next, so uh, I'll meet up with her in just a second. I'll grab my hat back, and we'll go do the gem mining. All right, guys. My daughter and I are over by the gem mining area, and she has got her bag and her sifter. I'll let her pick where she wants to go. Looks like uh, this is the spot here. All right, she's got her uh, sifter there. And let's see, let's see what's in the bag. What's, what's the possibilities? So yeah, take a look at this. She can get a possibility of any, or you know, maybe even all of them, who knows. Um, some of the pictures I saw online look pretty good. Looked like they were getting some pretty good sized ones. And there's even a, a bag included to put them all in. All right, so she has her her uh, dirt there and she's gonna sift it now in the water and I see a couple of gems coming out there there's a few not sure what they are but there are a few here Looks like it might be uh, maybe quartz, I'm not sure. All right, now you're gonna take your big rocks out of there. Okay, and you've also, there's a little one here too you might want. Yeah, someone. Oh yeah, here look here. There's one there. I don't know about that. I don't know if you want that or not. She still has a half a bag to go, so we'll see what's in the second half. And guys, I forgot to turn the light on. I have I have a light for my action cam. Completely forgot about it. I used it on the uh, coaster, which made all the difference in the world out there when we were riding the coaster. You could see me. You could see the track. And uh, it was a lot of fun to ride at night with all the different lights on there. She's still picking out different little small pieces out of here. All right, and we're on to the next part of the bag here. Are you putting it all in this time? No, we're only doing the next next third, I guess, or so. She wants to do it in threes. Shake it around a little bit, and we can see that, uh, there we go, we've got some, ooh, that's an interesting stone. It's very shiny. Almost looks like, uh, oh, that's, that's neat. That's really cool. And down here, kind of cool too. What is that? Rose quartz maybe? Yeah. There's a peach moonstone over there. There's a tree. Oh, Dan's got some rose quartz. All right, and we're finally moving on to the last part of the bag here. Just a little bit left and see what's in this last amount here. Spreading it out. You can see a few big ones in there already. We'll see. Put it in the water and give it a good shake. Oh, there's some big ones in there. Oh, yeah. It's the bottom of the bag. That's where they all settled. That's 
That's interesting. That's kind of cool. Look at that, wow. All right guys, and here is the bag of gems that she ended up with. There's quite a bit in here, a lot of smaller ones. Some good sized big ones though that are in there. And uh, she's, uh, she's pretty happy with this bag, so I think it was worth it. Well guys, that is gonna do it for our trip out to the Branson Coaster. Here in Branson, Missouri, we had a fun time. I really enjoyed the coaster. It's got a lot of fast moves, a lot of fast turns. You can control the speed, which is really cool. On the second one, I tried not to hit it a few times, but I'll be honest, some of those uh, turns were coming up pretty fast and looked pretty sharp. So I, I did hit it a few times, just a little bit, not full throttle stop, but uh, just enough to slow down just a touch there. Also, my daughter really enjoyed the mining. She found some really cool gems in her bag of dirt. So all in all, a great time. And if you're in the area, be sure to stop by, check out the Branson Coaster. Again, we used Groupons when we came here and it made it worthwhile for us. All right, guys, we drove just down the street a little bit from the Branson Coaster to check out Cakes and Cream 50s Diner. I want you guys to see this. It's an old 50s style diner and there's a really cool feature out back that I think you'll find rather cool. Now, we've already eaten dinner, but we thought, why not come here and maybe get something to snack on as a dessert? I mean, we are on vacation. And over here, they got funnel cakes and different good looking desserts, shakes, and all kinds of stuff. Let's see what we get. Guys, take a look at this, the old 50s style diner. There's a jukebox over there. There's uh, records in the booths and old 50s style tables. So, all kinds of different ice creams. They have regular food and they have some desserts. We decided to get the new Cakes and Cream Supreme there. It's really good. It's a uh, funnel cake with looks like uh, strawberries with cream and a scoop of vanilla ice cream. We're going to share it. But uh, if you want to see their menu, it's right behind them here. They have uh, regular food, burgers, ice cream, specialties, foods, and snacks. All right, guys, here it is, the Cakes and Cream. And it looks amazing. The whipped cream is sliding off a little bit there, but uh, we ended up getting a, basically it's a funnel cake with strawberries. There's a big scoop of ice cream, whipped cream and a cherry. The scoop of ice cream is strawberry cheesecake. All right, we're gonna dig in now. All right guys, I got my scoop here. I got a little strawberry, a little funnel cake, a little ice cream, a little whipped cream. Let's give this a shot. Mm. That's really good. Mm. Delicious. Wow, guys, look at that. The vultures have inhaled the entire dessert. <laughs> it was so good. It didn't last more than two minutes. We, uh, we definitely enjoyed that. So guys, there's an actual working jukebox machine at our table. You can make your selections over here. You simply put in the number that you want. You find it, you press it here, you put your quarter in, and it will play on the jukebox way over in the corner. You flip through to find your selections. It is working. And the jukebox is way over on the other side of the room over there. There are 45 records on the walls and even in the corner of the booth. And guess what's playing on the TV? Yup, it's the Three Stooges. And over here it says Back to the Future. And that's because there's an arcade here going back. Actually, a little forward because the 50s, they didn't have these. There's a bunch of different arcade machines in here. Got a claw game, a couple other different games here as well. Some of them do tickets, it looks like. And the uh, coin payouts. The, uh, the wheel here that you spin, and then there's all kinds of video games. There's skee ball, and even some pinball. And this one is definitely after my heart right here. This is a Rush 
pinball machine. Oh my gosh, I really, I think I want to play this. Let's see, what do we do? Quarters? It looks like it will take quarters. I'm going to see if I got some. Well, guys, unfortunately, it's not working. I'm so bummed. I really wanted to play this. Uh, one of my favorite bands is Rush. So now you know something about me. Um, this looks really cool. Sorry, that thing over there is being a little noisy. But uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to doesn't seem to work. It says uh, 25 cents. I put it in. It also has a tap thing. I didn't want to buy a card. I've seen this and I thought, well, we'll give it a shot. But it doesn't seem to work. Unfortunate. All right, guys. Well, you missed out. <laughs> I'll tell you what I just did. So I was trying to film. <laughs> what I didn't notice, this step is like maybe 20 inches high or so. And I came down off this corner, not off the uh, the normal size corner over here. You can see it's sloped and much bigger over here. And the yellow area is completely covered in black. So as I came down, I took a tumble and I scraped up my knee. How wonderful. <laughs> Anyways, the reason I wanted to come back here was to show you guys what they have back here behind the 50s diner. This is so cool. Check this out. That's right. There's a drive-in back here. How cool is this? You can actually pull up a car or you can have a seat somewhere. They've got benches to sit on. And they are showing old movies on a drive-in screen. How cool is this? Absolutely awesome. Well, guys, we talked to the gentleman that runs the projector shows here, and he was telling us that these shows typically start between 8 and 8.30 and go till about 11, 11.30, give or take a little bit. Uh, they usually start out with some cartoons, and then they put a classic 50s-style movie on. So if you guys are in the area and you're looking for something fun to do later in the evening, this is kind of perfect, right? You can stop by and watch an old classic and enjoy. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click on that compass so you can get subscribed and see more of our Branson road trip adventures. Remember, adventure is sometimes a little further away.